Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have James 1.12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life the Lord has promised to those who love him. So, yeah, I still have the rest of my Bible verse, uh, the Bible study to do for this week. I did part of it yesterday, and then, yeah, so, anyway. All right, um, so I've got a couple of things going on, and the first is that I have been working on the sweater, and yes, I have three skeins going at once. Um, if you remember, I'm going to make it and then make it as long as the yarn will go, so um, I've started the sleeves, and I've actually started decreasing so that it will just be round and then i also have my one strand so i'm doing the the uh arms together each row match for match and then and that way i don't have to write down my pattern and remember what i did and so uh and then whenever i get done with the arms i am going to uh make it as long as it will go so yeah i've been making progress a little at a time but making progress um then i also uh i guess i should do the so i did some sewing but the first thing i did was I got my boxes, my mail. So I will stop this and put in, I pre-recorded it because I really wanted to get into it and play and tear it all apart and see what all I got. And so I did a little unboxing video and I'm going to put that in right here. Okay, so this is just a little insert video so that I might be able to play with these this weekend. There's mowing going on, but I got my So What box, okay? I'm sure you've seen these unboxings, um, but I wanted to show you because you'll know what you get in each one, and then I'll show you the double because I got two for the first. So this is so circular, and you would get a little bundle like this in the box. Um, on the back of the card, it tells you everything that's in there, access to videos if you need help, plus some extra projects are on that video thing. Then I get a little fabric bundle, and this one happens to be strawberries, blueberries, and then it's got some green checks. So um, the tags, the ribbon is actually tags that say different things about being handmade um, and all that. And there's a little card that tells you a uh, website that will show you how to use them. Then you get the kit. Now the kit comes pre-cut, which is going to save me time if I want to try these, if I want to make them. On the back of the card, there's tips and tricks. The front tells you prep time, what you need, what kind of project you're going to do. Um, it's got the pins, it's got the thread, and then all of the pre-cut. This even comes with pre-cut batting because that's what you need. So you get that. And then the other thing you get is a paper pattern and it opens up quite large and it's got all of the, they have them downloadable on their site, but you also get a paper pattern. Now, the reason I'm thinking this is a plus for me is because if you follow me, you know that Tori, my daughter, is learning to sew. And if I think these are simple enough, I will be passing these patterns on to her. Um, I already kind of know how to sew and I probably could improvise my own trinket box but if these are good for her it gives me just a few minutes to whip up a tutorial she can have this and then she can cut it out um now we're going to move on to the double the box which is so red so i've got red which is ironic because rj's fiance's favorite color is red again on the back of the box everything comes in your kit for that month that access to the videos um, that kind of stuff. Then the fabric bundle that you get, again, you get the ribbon with the tags. 
same little card telling you about this, but then you get, I don't know, I want to say they're splash. It's orange and red and then black and white, kind of the same fabric. And then this one is a secret pocket hanger, which is cool because she's getting ready to get married. She'll need a hanger for her reception dress. Then she'll need a wedding, a hanger. So I will probably make these covers for her and make a set of five or six so that she's got wedding clothes hangers. Again, the front tells you your prep time, your sew time, what you'll need. On the back, tips and tricks. You also have that access to the um, videos to help you do it. We've got two different kinds of materials. All the materials are pre-cut. It even comes, this one comes with a zipper and the fringe, okay? So while I'll make this one probably the way the thing, I probably will improvise to make the others. And then again, you've got the needle and the thread. These threads, I will probably be giving to my daughter. Um, I've got a ton of thread. I've got serger thread of all different colors. I've got embroidery thread. I've got sewing thread. I don't need any more thread. So these will probably go to her. Um, and then, of course, you've got the pins, which I may or may not. Mine are kind of getting yucky, so I may actually keep the pins. If not, they will also go to my daughter. So this is a two-family kind of thing here. <laughs> okay. And like I said, uh, if I don't like the fringe, I may not use it. Um, we'll see how this turns out. I probably will do the one according to the uh, pattern and go from there. Uh, then, of course, it comes with the pattern itself. And like I said, this has, it's like a pattern you'd buy at the store. It's got the instructions. It's got the patterns. Um, it's got all the cutout stuff. So, you can make multiples of this, and it's got everything you would need, you know, ready to cut out, and your guide and all this. If I unfold this, you'd be able to see all the writing and stuff. It's just like a path. Um, so, now it's not um, what I call tearaway patterns, so these are definitely better for reusing. Um, if I want any of these, I'll cut them out and make copies of the patterns or whatever. Um, I have actually made hanger covers for a benefit before. Uh, this one, the one thing that's about this one is it's got a hidden secret pocket. So, um, and the, they said the secret pocket is big enough for cell phone, makeup, accessories, earrings, you know, that kind of stuff that she could put in there. So I definitely will be making those uh, covers, but Honestly, I will probably make the first one red because that's what the kit comes with. I will then go and get hunter green and white and make them her wedding colors. And I probably will make a set of five for her. So, yeah, it's a good box. It has got a lot of stuff in it. Um, my daughter and I are going to enjoy these. You know, if you were a beginner sewer, this would be perfect. I'm kind of advanced, so I will probably make the kits and then, you know, maybe make something else with the fabric. Who knows? Uh, that little fabric bundle. But, uh, and then pass the patterns on to her. She has a ton of material that's left over from me, so I know she knows how to cut out the, the patterns. Um, the circular little trinket boxes. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but like I said, it's going to be divided between me and Tori and and she'll get some goodies, and I'll get some goodies, and yeah, and so I probably will only keep the patterns that I specifically want, and I don't mean the written pattern, as in I can take the fabric, and I can trace it, you know, kind of thing, so I will probably keep any kind of pattern that I want, or idea that I want out of them, so anyway, pre-recorded, because I might just dive into this. I really want to do those uh, hangers, the hanger covers, and see how they turn out, and then set up. And I've got till November to do, like I said, and I may do six because RJ will have a jacket, his jeans, and his clothes. Then they, I'm pretty sure she'll have a reception dress. So she'll have the wedding dress, the reception dress, um, maybe her outfit to go. I don't know, but I think I'll do six of the covers and then just put them on plain white hangers. Are probably plain black hangers 
and that way that would be their good clothes for the wedding. So, and it would have, like I said, that hidden pocket. So for RJ, he could put his cell phone in there. He could put his, uh, I don't know, his pocket knife and, and stuff that he carries in his pockets in there. Not necessarily his wallet, but, you know, cell phone, that kind of stuff. So I really like the idea. We'll see. But all right, let me get off here. The mowing's going on. I think we're going to go and test all the work that we've done on that boat and get a test run. So I may not get to these this weekend, but I just wanted you to see them and I wanted to open them and I wanted to see them. Okay. <laughs> You're an excuse for me to see them early. All right. Back to the regular podcast. Bye. Okay. So it was a double box because they were running a special thing. So, um, I got two kits. And then, um, I did make the hanger cover, but I added a little twist to it. Um, and I embroidered Macy's name on the one. There are some things I'm going to change about the pattern, but I am going to make RJ one as well. Uh, but I embroidered Macy's name and stuff on it. I took some pictures. So here, let me pop those pictures in right here. Okay, so on RJ's, I am not going to make the uh, pocket the way they did. I'm going to put the inner and outer lining and connect them. I just think it would be less busy. And then I'm just going to put the zipper on the inside piece of the lining and then have the back of the, uh, what do you call it? Um, hanger cover uh the outer shell i will have it be the back of the pocket instead of having the pocket as a separate piece in there so um it will have the lining and between the lining and the back will be a pocket so um and macy was like oh my gosh if we do this for rj he can put his wallet his change and all of his stuff in his pockets in there during the wedding and i said yes he can so um she was really tickled with that so I made that day and then this, I had a headache all weekend. So there were some fires that took place and it actually on the news was, um, poor weather quality and they were tracking the smoke flow and it, oh, me and roommate both had a headache. Um, Saturday, not so bad, but we were going to try and go to the lake and test out all the stuff that we did on the boat over the winter. But with the smoke, the wind, it just was not feasible. So we didn't get to the lake. We had tried. Um, what else? I think that's really all I've been working on other than I've been cleaning stuff out. So, um, I have two, I have a, dresser type bannet with a mirror on it in my room and then I just have this little three drawer dresser and Macy has started going to the farm on the weekends and she is working in Bartlesville trying to build clientele it took her two years to get all of her clientele built up in Stillwater so She is now trying to build up clientele before the wedding so that, you know, money won't be so tight. You know, how you are when you get married. She's thinking if she gets a clientele kind of built up, then she will have uh, her bills taken care of. So, anyway, that went on. Um, and I spent some time. Make, I've just got books in there. And so I just have to find another place for books. But I will. So, yeah, and that may be just a tote that I have or whatever, you know, so. Honestly, some of them I need to get rid of because I won't use them again, but you just hold on to things. I don't know why. You just hold on to things. Um, The last thing that I have been contemplating this weekend 
is there is a course online and it's a, a, a course for sewing machines and how to service them yourself. It costs about $125 to $150 to get my um, embroidery machine cleaned out and serviced like it should. Same thing with the serger and my old machine. With three machines, a hundred even if it's just a hundred and fifty dollars a piece, that's four hundred and fifty dollars just to have those serviced. And they're supposed to be serviced. Some servicemen say twice a year, um, but I only sew on the weekends, so once a year is normally when I open it up and stuff. These are a little bit more. My old one. I was secure enough to take the cover off and really get everything out of there, oil up all the gears and stuff. But the new one, it's got the digital and yeah, the electronic. And I'm I'm a little nervous about that one. So um <clears throat> I while I have to admit I haven't taken my old one in for servicing because I've gone to doing it myself, I am not comfortable with the serger or this one and honestly the newer machines are more affected by lint um, they just are so I'm actually contemplating taking on that course and I literally they're they have courses they have like three sets of courses one is troubleshooting one is maintenance and the other one is repair and I'm thinking I might take all three, but I'm not real sure. Um, I don't know. Uh, timing and alignment are the most number one thing, and I, I don't know. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the maintenance. Whether I do the other stuff, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, We'll see. That's all I could say. <laughs> so, um, in the long run, it'll save me. <sighs> Within one year, I'll have made all my money back saving it on taking it in for maintenance. So, and the truth is, is that you only have to pay once instead of continuing to pay every year. So every year, this would be $500. And I think the course that I was looking at was 250. That's two services and I'm good to go. So I would already have my money back for that, but we'll see. I, I'm contemplating it. Um, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Nervous about it because taking these apart with the electronics in them, it really scares me. So We'll see. We'll see. That's all I can say. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. So I am going to get off here. Um, last week was a Beth week at work. I ended up in the boss's office, just letting her have it. Um, tired of the way that I was being treated at work and, um, just, I was in tears one day, not wanting to go to work. Just, you know, constantly something I'm not doing right. So, uh, and the truth is, is I'm not doing it wrong. They just want me to do their work for them. So it is what it is. And I guess that's just the way it's, it is, um, part of the job. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to get off of here. I will talk at y'all later. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. God bless.